Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my April favorites. And this is actually the last favorites video that you're going to see in this room. I can't believe that my moving day is almost here and I'm leaving this place behind. So this is where it all began for me. YouTube was in this room. I started here. I'm a little bit sentimental leaving this place behind and knowing that this is my last time filming a favorites video. I think I have maybe two or three other videos in this room and then we're going to be at the new place which is crazy i feel like i just perfected my lighting and now i have to relearn everything so i have a bunch of stuff to share with you guys it's all in my everyday makeup bag right here to show you and i also have a couple random things to share as well the first thing i have to share with you guys is the jeremy scott and mac collection this is the lo-fi 29 eyeshadow palette first thing I love the packaging. It's MAC. It's an amazing collection. And I didn't think I would actually like the colors as much as I do inside because when I initially saw it, it was super colorful. Let me open. You can see in here it's been getting a ton of use. And I've been doing a bunch of colorful looks for Instagram and just really stepping out of my comfort zone. And this eyeshadow palette has definitely helped me. And I'm surprised at how great the formulas are, especially for the colors. They're extremely pigmented, easy to blend, like the easiest to blend. You look like a professional <laughs> when you use these colors. They're so great. They do have a little bit of kick up, as you can see how messy my palette has got. So that's my only drawback of it. Doesn't personally bother me, but I know some people don't like that. This is still available on the MAC Cosmetics website. I checked. It is rather pricey. You are getting 29 shadows. You have neutrals in here. You have colors. You literally have every single shade you need. It's perfect to me. I love the color scheme, the amount of shadows, and they are just a beautiful formula. I was just blown away. I just love that this took me other places with my makeup. I'll have some images on the screen for you guys to check out if you don't follow me on Instagram, but that's where I've been playing with my makeup lately is there. And I love this thing. It's been giving me a ton of inspiration. So definitely check this out. The quality's there. It's not only just cool packaging, it's amazing, amazing quality. The next product I've been absolutely loving. I've used this for the past two months, I believe, and it is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask, and this is the Yuzu Lemon one. Why don't they ever have names on here? It's the yellow one. <laughs> I've used about half of it, I'd say, and I use this at least once a week, if not twice some weeks, for the past two months, as I said, and I have about half left. This is one of my favorite products I've ever found at the drugstore. It really works for my skin. They do have a bunch of other clay masks in their line, which I have really loved as well. And then this one is their latest release and it just blew me away. It brightens my skin as well as helps with the texture of my skin. It really smooths everything out. Granted, I have been using this with steaming my face. That was in my last month's favorite. I started using a facial steamer and then I put on a clay mask after and I really think that's been making a huge difference with my skin. But this has been my favorite clay mask at the drugstore, favorite mask at the drugstore that I have found. Highly recommend checking it out. It's very effective for me and rarely can I use clay masks all over my face because of very, very sensitive skin. This doesn't irritate my skin and it's super effective. So highly recommend. Recently, I picked up the Lancome Skin Feels Good Healthy Tint product. This does have SPF in it, but because in Canada you need some sort of licensing for that, it's covered up with a sticker. There is SPF in it though. If you are my self tan shade, 04N Sand is perfect. It is a neutral color. This does provide some coverage to the skin. And people were asking me on my DMs on Instagram if I could compare this to the It Cosmetics CC Cream because they didn't know which one to buy. And I honestly would lean towards this one. I love the It Cosmetics one. That one feels a little bit heavier on my skin. This is much thinner in consistency and looks more skin-like for me. So that's why I like this one because it looks more natural on my skin. It wears beautifully. And I recommend this to all my friends <laughs> so far. I love it so much. So this was an instant love when I picked up during the VIB sale, which you would have seen before this video. And I just love it so, so much. So highly recommend checking that out. Even if you're a full coverage person like me, 
definitely check that out because it does provide a good amount of coverage. I feel even for someone who loves full coverage, it's a great everyday product and it makes your skin look so flawless. I'm actually going to Sephora tonight and you'll be seeing my VIB sale haul tomorrow. So hopefully I'm able to find a second shade in that because I need it for when I don't have a tan, but we'll see. You'll see that video before. This is kind of like the future talking, but in the past super confusing. The next product I've been loving was in my top essential products of all time is this Milani Brow Shaping Clear Wax and I'm getting low on it already. I use this every single day when I do my brows now. I love this wax and I just love the convenience of a pencil just to set your brow hairs in place before you fill them in and I used to use the MAC one you guys know it's discontinued, so I had to find a different option for it. This is cheaper, works better, and I absolutely love it, 100% recommend it. I just have to set my brows first before filling them in, and that really helps me out. And then also from the drugstore, you can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart. They have the Pixie and Chloe Morello collection, and I love her palette as well, but the lip icing she came out with, it's so, so beautiful. This is what the color looks like. It's so pretty as a topper. And this has different reflex in it, but it gives your lips such a beautiful sheen and shine to it. And I just love it. It smells amazing too. So if you can find this at your local Shoppers Drug Mart, I definitely pick it up. And I love Chloe. I'm so happy for her collaboration with Pixie because I love her makeup style. So as soon as I saw this gloss, I knew I would love this so much and I do. Highly recommend, it's so, so good. Another gloss that I've been loving the formula of are the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shines. And when I first saw these, all the funky colors they had, I wasn't sure I was gonna like them. And I love them. Even the really vibrant, crazy colors. I love this formula and the scent. It has a sweet peppermint scent to it. This is my ideal fragrance in a lip product because it feels like it gives you a minty fresh breath as well. I just love mint. If you don't like mint, you're gonna hate this, but it's a sweet mint. So it's a really nice kind of mint. And this is the nude in the collection. It looks almost clear on my lips, but does provide a little bit of color. I like it because it lightens my lips ever so slightly and my lips are rather pigmented. So it just makes my lips look lighter and a little bit fuller. So that's why I like it. And it just has this beautiful, very light pinkish color to it. So it's super pretty, very natural and see the difference between those two, but I highly recommend this one as well. It does have some shimmer in it. You can, you can barely tell, but it's there. It's just so finely milled in this one, and I just love both of these glosses. So if you want some nude, shiny, juicy lips, definitely check these ones out. This one smells more like cake. This one is more pepperminty, if you care about the smell. But I love both of those, and I love both the formulas, colors, everything about those. I've just been on a gloss kick. I'm so happy companies are coming out with glosses. In terms of launches, this and the buxom ones that dry down to a matte finish over time are my favorite gloss launches currently, so love those. The next product that kind of took me by surprise, I honestly didn't think I'd like this as much as I do, and this, all three products I love, <laughs> is the Kim KW collection, her Conceal Bake Brighten sets. I love this. I have fairly deep troughs in my eyes, and this really helps brighten it up. It's a thicker concealer. The only thing I don't like about this set is the concealer and the fact that it dries down really, really fast. That's the only drawback of it. It does a fantastic job at brightening, kind of filling in that area underneath the eye really helps out my eyes and the color is perfect. I can use this whether I'm fair or self tan. It just brightens way more when I'm self tan, which I don't mind, but it's the shade five. It's perfect, super, super yellow, but it still works for me. Typically I don't go for colors this yellow, but it seems to work really, really nicely. So like that, it just dries down so fast. So you gotta, you gotta work quick. I wouldn't put it all over your face before you blend it in because it's gonna dry down. And these products, they can look dry on my skin, 
sometimes that's obviously another drawback but if you spray your face with fix plus or any kind of setting spray at the end it corrects that so they can look dry while you're putting it on but honestly just go with it <laughs> set your face after and it wears beautifully and I just honestly I love these so much I just wish they were in bigger sizes so this is the number two bake and this is the number two brighten work perfectly for me whether I'm my natural skin color or self tan as I said they both work either or so I highly recommend these and I was a little bit skeptical at first but this does a fantastic job at brightening the under eye and I can't skip this step now I used to never do that now I have to do it and this is a really finely milled baking powder so so nice I compare this kind of to the Patrick star and Mac one which I love I find it similar to that for my under eye so I really really like it I'm wearing it today and I used it in my previous tutorial that you guys would have seen also my everyday makeup bag I actually got this month as well this is vintage Louis Vuitton you have to find this at places that have a license to resell authentic pieces because they have discontinued this style. It's the Truce 28 and it's a makeup bag. I did get this obviously used because they don't make them anymore. There's very minimal signs of wear on this. I found a really good one. You can see on the zipper that it looks a little bit more worn and there's a couple marks inside. But other than that, and honestly, it, I'd say it's like an A- minus condition. It's really good. And I got a really good deal when I found this. So I was so happy to find one that was a good price plus good condition because I've been wanting one. And funny enough, mine was made in March of 87. So this is a year younger than me. I was born in March 86. So I kind of like that this was made in March and close to my birthday in the 80s. I just, I don't know, it's something special about it. So I've really been enjoying this. As I said, you do have to find them vintage if you want to find one, but there are several sites online that you can kind of stock to see if they have these in stock. They're always coming up, but Louis Vuitton doesn't make them anymore, so you do have to keep your eye out. The last two things I have are random. <laughs> I have the Now and Then soundtrack on vinyl. This is so amazing. This is the kind of music you need to listen to on vinyl. And I love every single song on this soundtrack. I was Roberta when I watched the movie. Who were you? You have to let me know. If you watch Now and Then, you need to tell me who you were in the movie. Because I was so Roberta. I was such a tomboy. I found the vinyl on Urban Outfitters. I checked before filming this video to see if they had it in stock. And they don't have it on the US or Canadian website. So if you check in store, maybe they'll have it. So definitely give them a call and see if you want to pick this up because that's where I found it. And this one specifically was exclusive to Urban Outfitters because it comes with this super cute colored. So I've been listening to this nonstop. As I said, I love every single song on this and this needs to be played on vinyl. It sounds so amazing. That's the kind of music that I love to listen to. And then the last thing I've been loving is the greatest showman i've heard so much about it initially i rented it on google play i had like a 99 cent rental and then i ended up going out and buying it <laughs> because it's so good i can't get enough of the soundtrack or the movie i don't know even how many times i've played it since it came out on video because i've been playing it i swear like every day i love it so so much i'm gonna force everyone in my life to watch this even my husband actually enjoyed it and he's not a fan of musicals like i love musicals but he said it was good and he doesn't like musicals so definitely give it a watch if you haven't seen it already as i said i absolutely love it i was gonna forget this again this would have been the second time i forgot i've been using this every single day i don't know why i keep forgetting it it's this is my favorite thing. I've already packed this up because I'm ready to move. I'll see if I can open it. It's so heavy. Oh my goodness. Last month in PR, I received this and I forgot to mention it in my PR video because it was on my vanity. I was using it and it was out of the box. Usually I just save things in the box. This I used right away. <laughs> it looked like a MacBook. It's pretty much the size of the screen. It is a vanity mirror from simple human they contacted me and sent this to me and i was like yes please i'd love to try out and i absolutely love it i actually have my garbage cans in my house by simple human so i had heard of them before and i've never had a nice vanity mirror the one that i currently use is from ikea i still like it i use it for filming 
this one. It's dirty. It's angled. That one's from Ikea. If you're looking for a good affordable mirror, <laughs> I've used that for years. This one is expensive. I know it is, but it's so, it's so good, you guys. So here's the mirror. You can see my lights. I'm blinding you. Boxes. That's my room right now. We're in boxes. So this is the mirror. I'm not going to turn it on and further blind you guys, but it's huge. And you can bend these up. And now I'm going to set it down. <laughs> so you can see that mirror is huge and you can bend the sides so you can look straight on or have the sides bent so you can see both sides of your face. Plus it has the light up illumination in the middle, which the lighting actually adjusts depending on what you want it for. It connects wirelessly to your phone and this is the coolest thing ever to me. I would have loved to have this back when I worked at the factory because the lighting is so different. So say you're getting ready in your house and obviously it's different lighting than your workplace. And then you go to work and you look in the mirror and you're like, my makeup. The mirror, you can take a selfie wherever you want the lighting for when you get ready and the lighting adjusts through your app to that lighting. So you take your selfie in your workplace and it will self adjust so that when you get ready in the morning, you can do your lighting in that exact lighting, go to work, your makeup looks good at work. Where was this like how many years ago? <laughs> I wish I would have had this so long ago. It's just so, so cool. I can't get enough, 100% worth it. If I break this, I will go out and buy it. That's how much I love it. It is so, so cool. If you wanna still get a nice mirror, I've used this for years and had no complaints until I tried that one. This one from Ikea is really good too. It's super messy. Don't show that. <laughs> I still use my Ikea mirror to film because it's the perfect angle. It's only slightly angled so that you guys can see when I do my makeup and it's not me looking like crazy in different directions. It's just a slight angle. So that's why I like it for filming. If you film and want a great filming mirror, the Ikea one is good too. So we're going on a tangent now. I didn't even know I was going to go here. I almost forgot you again. I'm talking to inanimate objects. That is everything for my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it and sharing with you all these products. I always keep track every single month on my phone the things that really stand out for me so that these videos are truly my favorites. When I go back and look at my list, I'm like, yep, 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 that's awesome. Put it in. <laughs> As always, let me know what your favorite products were in the comments section below. If you've tried any of the things I've tried, what your experience was, I'd love to know as well. That's everything. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.